Ha, ah, summer in Michigan. What to do? But this has given me an idea. Most of us have seen footage of a drop of water in high speed and watched it bounce over the surface. But I always wonder about other liquids with different properties, temperature, density, etc. And I wanted to see if uh, there was any difference with other chemicals that contains very little or no water at all. I've had this uh, older Fortron fast cam camera that records in analog and black and white up to 16,000 frames per second at reduced resolution and I tried some of my uh, chemical just out of curiosity. Although analog, the output of the camera goes to the Ion 2PC MK2 for image processing and uh, most of the shots are recorded at 2000 frames per second. So please forgive me for the poor resolution, sloppy focusing and black and white images. I can only do so much with limited funding. So this first shot is pure deionized water at 19.4 degrees Celsius. And that's important because I shot the same sample at five degrees Celsius and notice the droplet reduction. Oh wow, look here. And 96 degrees Celsius. Bigger bounce right there. Yeah. And here's all three temperatures side by side so we can see better. Obviously temperature does have an effect. Now this is a shot of the same water drop at 4,000 frames per second and although it looked like the water is about to boil, it's another fascinating consequence of looking at everyday phenomenon on a different time scale. And I thought it was pretty cool and wanted to share it. What about dish soap? Well, I've tried that too. So this is soapy water at 2,000 frames per second, but it's meaningless on its own. So there it is compared with 100% pure water and the surface tension difference is clear as day. So here's a bunch of chemicals and uh, we can draw a lot of conclusion based on the van der Waals attraction and repulsion theory, but a picture is worth a thousand words in equations, don't you think? Despite a rather large CN group, acetyl natrile is a very mobile liquid, allowing it to bounce surprisingly high with a good drop separation. Compare this with a larger molecule that also contain a nitrogen atom, but this time in the nitro group, Notoriously electron greedy. Yep, not so high. Next, here's the nonpolar hexane. Oh, very good drop separation here. Toluene has very similar properties. Ethyl acetate cannot make it as high. That's uh, interesting. Now look at how these two very different liquid behave. Concentrated sulfuric acid on the left and ethylene glycol on the right. Only one atom separate these next two from being identical. The one on the right has an extra chlorine atom, and it shows. The slow viscosity lighter fluid has an impressive separation. Check out the hang time on this one. Out of focus methanol. Not so impressive. Although out of focus, this mercury metal explosion is amazing. Check out the ripples, dude. Wow. Vegetable oil is so thick, it just absorbed the drop. Damn. The next one is by far the most dangerous chemical I've ever had to handle. And here it is at 2,000 frames per second. 
And 4,000 frames per second. Hmm. Actually, that was kind of cool. Let's see that again. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and uh, here's my dignity going to shit again.